Aloha Kako, mahalo nui again for joining us for Ho'okele Na'o'el 2022. Um, as you may have heard this morning, our theme is Aina Sources and Systems. And so what better way to start off our morning than uh, grounding ourselves in conversations about Aloha Aina. Uh, my name is Anne-Marie Paikai. I am gonna be the moderator for this session. And so just uh, Velina Maimeke Aloha, mahalo nui for joining us. Um, we're going to be starting off the day talking about one of our fiercest me'e aloha aina, George Jarrett Helm Jr. And we're going to be doing so by um, collectively watching the film Hawaiian Soul. Uh, we're also joined uh, by our writer and director, Aina Paikai, and one of the co-producers of the film, Miki Ala Peskaya. Um, Aina is joining us from Waiau O'ahu, and Miki Ala is joining us from Kalo Papa Molokai. So mahalo nui to you folks for being here today. Um, so just to give you an update about how this session will run, um, I'm gonna do a brief, some brief housekeeping bio stuff, and then we'll watch the film. Um, afterwards, we're gonna have a short time for discussion where you can put questions in the chat. We may not get to them all, but we'll do our best to get to what we can. Um, again, mahalo nui for being here and um, taking the time to, to ground yourselves in aloha aina during this session. Um, before I get started with the bios, um, I just want to let you know that um, we've got a couple of quick reminders. Um, please keep yourselves muted. This is a different, this is not a webinar session. This is actually a meeting session. So if you could make sure as you're coming in to just mute yourselves um, so that we can hear everything okay. Um, we don't want to get in the way of the sound for the film. Um, if you do have any issues, we have Ha'oli Hiva Hiva, who is our tech assistant for this morning. You can find her in the chat if you have any problems with the tech. Aina will also be able to help with any tech problems if you have them. And then we've also got a few folks that are helping monitor the chat, including folks of our Ho'okele Na'o'el team and Cindy. So you can seek them out in the chat if you have any issues. Just a reminder, um, if you um, were able to make it to the Velina this morning, we do have a code of conduct for um, this symposium today. So if you have any questions about that, please do refer to those notes about how we're conducting ourselves. We do wanna be really conscientious about how uh, we're holding each other and keeping each other safe in this space and not um, causing any um, unintended harm. So mahalo nui. Um, and with that, I am thrilled to introduce you all to our speakers today. Um, I'm going to start off with Aina, who, in addition to being my husband, um, is also a Native Hawaiian filmmaker that aims to amplify Pacific and Indigenous voices in media. Uh, the former Sundance Native Lab Fellow, Hokula, a crew member and OED TV documentarian, is now an entrepreneur and the owner of his media production com company, Kama Aina Creations. Paikai wrote and acted in the award-winning film, short film, Down on the Sidewalk in Waikiki from 2019, which was inspired by the life and words of poet Wayne Kaumualii Westlake. Uh, his latest short film, Wayne Soul, also, also, also. Um, is a drama that celebrates the music and message of George Helm Jr., the famed musician and activist that helped to stop the target bombings on the island of Kaho'olawe. Hawaiian Soul won Best Made in Hawaii Short at the 2020 Hawaii International Film Festival and Best Live Action Short at the 2021 Imaginative Film Festival. Also joining us today is my very good friend and co-producer of the film, Miki Ala Paskaya from Ho'olehua Molokai, but today she's joining us from Kalaupapa. Miki Ala is a Molokai born and raised, is born and raised and can trace her genealogy back many generations on Molokai. Raised by her grandmother, Harriet Ne, a well-known historian, Native Hawaiian language speaker, Kumuhula and Kahu of Molokai, Miki Ala inherited her tutu skill, interest, and responsibility to care for the stories of her island and people. As an educator, Miki Ala has always focused on connections, building relevance, and weaving values into every learning opportunity. She works with schools, many nonprofits, and education organizations to infuse culture at the core of every program. Her command of Hawaiian culture and language and her network of resources makes her the perfect go-to person when anyone is looking for answers. She's been working in the field of media for over 20 years and is diligent in producing authentic, accurate, clean, inspiring, and creative work that adds value and integrity to that which defines us Hawaiians and us humans. Most importantly, and she enjoys what she does, but especially enjoys empowering the next generation of storytellers to take her place. Um, and with that, I am going to go ahead and pass it off to Miki Ala and Aina to add anything to their Ho'olauna, and then we will move straight into the film. 
Um, so mahalo nui ya olua for joining us and I'll pass it to you, Mickey. Velina mai meke aloha mai ke ahea, kamakani ahu kapalili, molo kai molo kai nui ahina, molo kai aina momona, molo kai no kaheke. <laughs> Kala mai, I have to pass my aina. Uh, being born and raised here, um, we are surrounded by advocates. Um, advocates not just in recent generations, but for hundreds of years. Molokai has always been right plop in the middle of the pai aina and we watch all these ali go back and forth. And even today we watch politicians, we watch special interests, we watch people um, coming with different values into these shared spaces. And so in the middle, we just kind of watch everybody going by. And from those ranks came you know, a group of people that had a very special aloha for, not just for Molokai, but looking across in that experience of seeing a fellow island um, under duress and, and suffering and challenged us to um, step, step up into advocacy spaces. And so this is our story. Um, we'll get into how we were, how this, this whole film came to be and what it meant for us to be involved, what it's meant for us to be able to share it, uh, what's, you know, what it's done for the Lahui and the community, and hopefully find ways of um, this impacting you, our audience out there today. Um, so this is our gift for the Lahui. Um, Ia vau o kamakani o ka aina no waiau mai au. Uh, mahalo ia o kou pakahi no ka hele ana mai ki ia ka kahiaka. Uh, nana i ke ia ki i oni oni pokole o Hawaiian Soul. Pili ko kako me e aloha aina o ia hoi o George Jarrett Helm Jr. Aloha. Uh, aloha, my name is Aina from Waiau, Pro City. Um, went to Pro City High School, Leeward Community College, and um, Eva Moku represent. And yeah, just been, um, I think, primarily in um, kind of my Hawaiian circles that I've been growing in media, being from Pro City and growing to Pro City High School, there's not a lot of us Hawaiians, I think that um, are represented in those circles. And so I'm very proud, been more proud over the years to represent this Aina and get to know it better. Thankful for my wife also to teaching me more about Eva Moku and access to all of these beautiful places um, that are relatively, um, not what you think of when you think of Aloha Aina or just Aina in general. It's very urbanized and um, and quiet and quaint and we like it that way, but also I would like to bring more of these Hawaiian spaces for us to um, to feel that way. And so um, I think my work in film is also doing that in a digital sense of bringing Aina or our particular Aina of Hawaii to the masses, um, but really made for us uh, as a Lahui, our Hawaiian people, especially um, to recognize our people, our heroes, someone that we, sh if we don't know, we should, we should know at the very least, and then further doing more um, research or doing your homework about these kinds of people and um, what they represent and their messages of Aloha Aina. Mahalo for everyone. Um, we, we'd like to welcome you back. We've got about 10 minutes left for discussion. So if you folks could use the chat to submit any discussion or comments or questions, um, we may not, it likely will not get to everything today, but please feel free and Aina and Mickey Ala, maybe if you can respond to things as you're discussing as the <laughs> other one is talking. Uh, just a reminder, if you're not on the panel, if you could please make sure to keep your um, mic muted. Um, and also it's in the chat, but just remember that if you'd like to self-identify as Native Hawaiian or otherwise BIPOC individual, please put an asterisk at the beginning of your question. We'll do our best to prioritize those questions and comments first and just do what we can to get as much answers as possible in the time that we have. Um, to Aina and Miki Ala, I just wanted to um, just say mahalo nui for sharing that with this audience today. Um, for our Lahui Hawaii, Aina and Aloha Aina is the source of our knowledge system. Let me keep quiet. Come I'm like pressing mic. the volume on this. This is like down to zero, but she's still talking out of this screen. Hello, Mike. If you could keep yourselves muted, <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Mahalo nui. Um, so um, for our Lahui Hawaii, Aina and Aloha Aina is the source of our knowledge systems, and we would be remiss to not acknowledge George as one of our me'e who continues to remind us that 
Aloha Aina is an innate kuleana for Hawaii. As Kahiahi mentioned this morning, our work and focus has really been to understand how the mana of Aina is articulated. And George's example has been an inspiration for our Lahui through his ability to reinvigorate the concept of Aloha Aina through the Protect Koho Olave movement. Uh, loosely translated, Aloha Aina refers to love and therefore innate commitment to caring for the land. And for me personally, I see that both of you in your own ways spread a message of Aloha Aina through your work on this specific film, but also through your other practices and projects and professional capacities. And I'm wondering uh, to start us off, if you folks wouldn't mind talking about what lessons you think we can take away from this film and Georgia's story to continue this legacy of Aloha Aina in our own practices. And whoever wants to go first can <laughs> jump in. I think for me, Aloha, um, Aloha, you can, anybody can Aloha Aina. It's not something unique to Hawaiians. It's not, you know, unique to a time period or a place. Like, you have to live in the country or you have to, you know, you can be smack in the middle of uh, Pearl City or in Waikiki and still like exude great and deep and profound aloha aina. It happens every day. And really it's understanding a sense of place and how that relates to, I think, library um, science or like this practice of curating information. Really, it's about keeping track of mo'olelo and how mo'olelo um, can be preserved in multiple formats and how we can transform and retell stories in all these different ways so that we can bring that message to a broader audience. When George started sharing his aloha aina, it really started off right here with his, with his self and with his ohana, and then it grew into his community. And as he started looking around, I was like, oh, we all agree on this? right on you know and as the message got bigger and bigger and the audience got bigger and bigger he yes he was trying to put it out there but he was just being himself and that's you find so many people who are just doing great things to aloha the places and spaces they're in and when we start to overlap and our edges start to meet and converge and we start sharing stories um that base grows wider and wider. And how does Pono pr prevail? It's by finding that balance when all the edges meet. And so through information, right? So when he was singing, he wasn't like, hey, turn on the video, you guys. Like, you know, he wasn't doing selfies and like how us, we always like live streaming or whatever. He was just doing this thing and it just happened to be something other people were interested in capturing. And because we were able to preserve them, people like Aina and I can go back and access that information, that moment, right? And then take that moment and then create new moments to transport people over and over and over again. And that's why the way we malama these stories and the integrity and what I love about this project real quick is that Aina didn't just rely on his research and what he read and what he saw. He went back to the source and he went and, and confirmed things and, and tried to understand the perspectives of how the, these moments happened and did they get it right, the people who were capturing it and tried to, and trust me, it took him years and years and years of reiterations to refine it, but that's what makes this, this particular project so profound in that space, Aina. Yeah, it was a long time coming and she was definitely a beacon. One of the first people I asked, like, if it's okay and how should I go about it? I think in being an outsider uh, from Oahu and not necessarily Molokai ties, um, she was a, probably the first, first person that I could trust with kind of the idea as then how do you feel about that? And she's like, well, we better check in with some certain people. And so we did, I think, what we thought was Pono. And I think that's all, that was kind of like the, the navigating guide. I, we didn't really know. I think what we're doing in terms of Aloha Aina and filmmaking, filmmaking or especially films that have been made in Hawaii are really just kind of like um, what I think people understand now to be the stereotypical versions of uh, what exists here, which is like, you know, just beaches and beautiful mountains and basically background. And what we wanted to try and incorporate was what is uh, not Hollywood, I guess. What is Hawaii and what is um, our style in terms of the filmmaking? And yeah, and just kind of the uh, appreciation we have for not just the places, but the people that 
occupy those spaces and the people that know those places better than any people in the whole world and trying to um, yeah, identify how that fits in kind of the Hollywood format of storytelling because that's what we're all accustomed to. And so still, I feel like in film, we're navigating uh, what that means. What does Hawaii filmmaking mean? And so I think this is a good example and probably the best um, the best version of it because of our, uh, yeah, not all guidance, I would say. And I saw a question, I was just trying to try and answer it really quickly in the chat, but it had um, about archival footage. And so the first things that we showed today were um, two short clips of George singing, which is a part of the Pauhana Years uh, video, which is, uh, owned by PBS Hawaii. And actually they re-released it. I think they remastered it and re-released it on PBS Hawaii right now. So you can watch um, not just George's singing in his entirety, but a couple other folks that played at that event. That was the 50th year homestead uh, anniversary. Kalama Ula being the first homestead in all of Hawaii. And um, some of the other archival footage afterwards is taken from um, a documentary called Aloha Aina, Kaho Olave, Aloha Aina, George Helm, uh, by Project Kaho Olave Ohana, and produced by Ken Yasao, and a couple others. Um, the legendary Joan uh, Landers was also part of that. And then she, uh, they put together something in 1977, like not too long after George had passed, to kind of, I think, further um, telling his, let, letting him tell his own story and his uh, words and kind of do what he did best, which was draw us in and wanted to learn more and change our minds and hearts to um, understand why this hurt uh, Native Hawaiians so much, especially, but all of us really. And really um, because of him and his words and his work, um, that message carried on all the way until like 1990 when it actually did stop the bombing. And then what I'm most proud of is that today, like all of these young folks that weren't even thought of when all of this was happening, none of them really know, or a lot of them don't really know what Protect Koho Olave movement even was. They're getting to listen to George directly. Um, and yeah, so all of that stuff exists, I think. Um, some of it online already on YouTube, you can, the first, pretty much the first thing that comes up um, when you type in George Helm's name is uh, doc, that documentary, uh, which is really well done and something I would encourage everyone to to watch and then a lot of it is housed at Ulu, Ulu archives at the University of Hawaii um, West Oahu campus. I think a really cool um, sort of thing that transpired from this was people watching this film especially for Molokai in our BTS you see the kupuna they're talking about because they were kind of his age like they were all in high school with him. Some of the we recruited people um, who personally knew him and could bring that realness to the film. Like we didn't hire any professional actors. This is really like people who were connected, related. Um, and that was like really, really cool because it was it's about training the next generation to really ho'okuleano over the, the mo'olelo. Yeah, this is your responsibility to know it intimately and to receive firsthand knowledge and then transform it into different media so we can continue to share the message of aloha aina. But what's cool is we had these spaces where these generations, right, the kupuna actors started telling, their, sharing their memories. Like you, you saw where they're like, oh, remember they used to wear this and that. And things that you cannot find in, the books or the newspaper articles, right? This firsthand knowledge. And so now you have one more person um, processing that and then, you know, and it's captured and it's spurred more interest. And now people wanna do more research. They wanna learn more and they're talking about it more. And for real, this, you know, Georgetown is celebrated across the Pai Aina, but on Molokai, it's Kalamai Mickey, you hit mute, I think on accident. I don't know how that happened. No, I didn't even touch my. <laughs> Somebody must have accidentally muted you. Call them mine. <laughs> um, you know, so for our, what it's done for our community and for our Lahui really, like, was to re examine what are the things we have, what is worth preserving. Because in that moment, you might not think something's important and worth saving. 
Um, and then you move forward and then people are like, hey, I have this, like, oh, look this picture or I get this letter or they're pulling out stuff. And then now you realize it's important and what do you do with that, you know, and how can we continue to make that kind of uh, information accessible to the next, to inform the next generation, especially in advocacy for Aloha Aina, really important. So this film sparked a whole nother movement. Like I'm really excited about that. Oh, mahalo nui, Mikiala and Aina for sharing. I think that's such an important point that we can leave with, right, is like being um, guided by community to really understand what are the things that are important for us to um, advocate for, to save, to malama, and to, um, to use in the future to reinvigorate more generations in the future. And I just, I'm so appreciative to both of you for agreeing to jump on um, and just share your work with us. You both are doing such important things for our Lahui. And so it just, Mikela Mana'o he mahalo, leo mahalo ke ya olua. I'm so grateful for both of you. And um, it's really our honor to be able to bring you folks to this symposium and talk about the film and George's legacy of Aloha Aina, but also your folks' personal relationships to Aloha Aina and your perspectives on that. It's not really necessarily an obvious co uh, connection all the time to be bridging between um, libraries and Aloha Aina, but I think there's a really important connection there that we've been missing and that we need to bring back into our practice and our profession. And so I hope that our participants are leaving with um, a lot of amazing lessons and, and, and pieces of Ike from today. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a huge mahalo nui. Um, we are um, just closing, gonna be closing out and our next session will be starting at 10.30. Um, so if everyone will be needing to um, jump out of this one back into the lobby, you can um, hang out in the lobby and chat with one another and enjoy your time together. Um, and then as right around 10.30, you can jump into the next session, which will be um, with Sharon and Ann and Dodi. And that's gonna be an incredible session. So please stay tuned for that. And just another, Mahalo to all of our participants for joining us today at Ho'okalina OL 2022 um, and to you folks, of course, for sharing all that you have. Um, so with that, um, please feel free to jump back into the lobby and we'll see you again at 1030. Mahalo nui ya'oko.